Hello guys and welcome back to your girl's channel. So today, as you can see from the title of the video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your makeup last in the summer heat. Yes ma'am. I live in Texas and today was mm, 107 degrees. It's been triple digits all week and it's probably going to be triple digits next week. So if you guys want to see my makeup routine while my summer makeup routine, please keep on watching. So first things first, my most oily areas are my T-zone, so my forehead, nose, and chin. But not so much anymore since I went out Accutane. Did dry up my forehead and my chin, but my nose is still really oily. And also my eyebrows. I completely forgot out of my brows. So my eyebrows tend to get really oily, and when it, that happens, my products tend to slip and slide, and it just looks like a greasy mess. So the best way for me to avoid oily eyebrows is to use soap. This, I think I did a video. I'll link a video of my eyebrow routine up here. Yep, it's on the side. But basically, all I do is I brush soap onto a spoolie, brush it onto my brows, and then I wait for that to dry, and then I go in with my eyebrow product. In this particular video, I used my ColourPop brow pencil in the color black and brown. I also love to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Ebony. Right here, to avoid oily eyebrows, I have to do soap brows. Moving on to primer, I don't use a primer in the summer because I find primers don't do absolutely nothing in the summer. It's just... It just makes my base even more greasy. It just makes me more greasy throughout the day. So I haven't found a primer that I really, really love. There is the Becca Mattifying Primer, the one um, that you have, comes in the squeeze bottle. That one is really good, but I find that one can be too drying for my nose. So instead of actually using a face primer, I go ahead and spritz my face first with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I use this as a makeup primer or a primer setting water like the Smashbox Primer Water. I use that as my primer. And once that dries down a bit, I go ahead and use my NYX Glitter Glue. Yes, NYX Glitter Glue. Shout out to Makeup for Women of Color on Twitter. She talked about this trick. I go ahead and use this as I would a mattifying primer. I put this on my forehead, on my nose, and a little bit on my chin. This also helps to minimize smile lines, so I put a little bit on there. Once I've applied my NYX Glitter Glue, I go ahead and set those areas with a translucent powder. I use my Lauren Mercier Translucent Medium Deep Powder. This powder sets my primer in place and also gives me a little bit of coverage because I don't color correct because mm, I don't purposely find the need to. But if you do go ahead, make sure you color correct before you set with a setting powder. This also helps to minimize the oils, helps to minimize shine, helps to set your primer in place. And if you do use the next little bit on your oily areas, it is going to look a little bit weird when you put the powder on but once you apply your foundation you're not even going to be able to tell so the translucent powder provides a little bit more coverage so that way when you go in with your foundation you don't need to put on that much foundation because once it comes to applying your liquids minimum is key applying the least amount of liquid products is the best way to go because if you start kicking it on it's just going to start melting off as soon as you step out that door so if you don't have the specific translucent powder, a face powder will do. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the color A100 Mocha is also a good way to set your primer. Any face powder with a little bit of color. You can also use translucent powder. You just need something to set down your primer and give you a little bit of coverage. After I've applied my setting spray and my primer, and then I've set all of that in place, I go in with my foundation. My favorite drugstore foundation at the moment is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Pore Lace. I'm in the color 356 Coconut, but my favorite high-end foundation is the NARS Reading Creamy. I'm in the color Marquises. This foundation is the bomb.com, but this is expensive, so I don't like using it anyhow. So... For this tutorial, I went ahead and used my Maybelline Fit Me. I just went ahead and put this on all over my face. And I carried on with my original makeup routine. I apply my foundation. I apply my 
concealer, cream contour, and then we're moving on to setting. For setting, I go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder, not the medium deep, the all translucent powder. I go in and set my under eyes and all the places that I've highlighted, but I always make sure to put a little bit more powder or bake my nose, my forehead, my chin, and sometimes my upper lip if I'm feeling lucky. But I never bake for any more than 30 seconds, however long it takes for me to gather up my face powder and my face powder brush. That's how long I'm baking for. I don't like to over bake because I find that if I bake for too long, it just makes my oils come out more and that's not I don't know why that happens that's literally the opposite effect of what baking is supposed to do but when I leave my bake on for too long I get more oily throughout the day so I try to bake for less than 30 seconds and then I go on with my makeup as usual apply my bronzer highlighter yada yada lashes and at the very end I go ahead and I use a setting spray but I don't use an oil controlling setting spray because again I find that it always has the opposite effect on me instead of controlling my oils all oil controlling setting spray make me do is get more oily so I have found a really good setting spray other than the max 6 plus which is not really a setting spray but you know um i use the ofra makeup fixer spray this spray right here first of all it smells divine and it's also really good in just helping you set your makeup making everything look all nice and non-powdery i always set my face twice so i go in set once put on my clothes do all that and then at the very end before i leave the house i set my face again so i always set twice and i don't use an oil controlling setting spray another good trick is when you're applying your foundation you can always spray your foundation if you do put it on the back of your hand or in a pan or something you can spray your foundation that's on your hand with the setting spray with an oil controlling setting spray or you can just spray your beauty blender with the oil controlling setting spray so that way when you're blending in your foundation you're also blending in that setting spray with it and you're not going to be as oily throughout the day but so it's currently 2216 aka 1016 so i've had this makeup on for about 13 hours now lord that's that's a long time i'm gonna zoom out in and i'm gonna show y'all what i'm looking like so this is as oily as i got all day today and then i don't have any oils on my chin or forehead and then my smile lines didn't crease that bad so all in all today was a good day i even took a nap today like that's how you know this makeup stayed on all day well, and it was 107 degrees today, so that's how you know this makeup lasted. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Leave me any questions, comments, or concerns down in the comment section below. And for love of makeup and all things girly, please subscribe and stay tuned for your girl's next video. Bye, guys.